Selanginella Martensi, agroplants.org, also known as spike moss. So this perennial evergreen, or this is uh, in a colder climate, uh, used for ornamental, for the beautiful leaves. Uh, it can grow in variety of climate, uh, tropic or subtropical. Uh, it's possible to grow it in the Mediterranean, but it needs to increase the amount of uh, humidity and moisture in the soil, in the summer especially. Uh, growing in hardiness zone of 11 plus, uh, but with the right care also possible in 10B. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below, link in the right top side, and if you perch, uh, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe, it's really, really help uh, to this channel to grow. So, the leaves are can be uh, green possible with yellow tips. Uh, this is a frosty cultivar. Uh, it's it's lovely and beautiful. The structure of the leaves, as you can see, it's a little bit shredded leaves, uh, prominent veins, and it's uh, it's beautiful. So better to grow it above 15 degrees Celsius. It's mean 59 Fahrenheit. Uh, it can also grow in more than seven uh, Celsius. It's mean 45. Uh, Fahrenheit it just will be harder and maybe you should consider even to grow uh, to protect it a little bit over the winter or to grow it between some other plants that will be protected uh, this plant need high humidity uh, usually moist soil rich soil and organic matter with uh, humus will be better but a lot of organic uh, dead leaves rotten parts just create some uh, rich soil is the best way to start to grow it, of course, is to buy a plant, but also possible by uh, cutting. It's uh, in base of the leaves always grow a little roots. Uh, there are two options. One, you cut the leaves and you put the roots in the water. It is possible and it's grow like this. Every, uh, don't forget to switch the water every few days. A uh, second option, it's uh, directly in the soil. And need to put, uh, of course, the same rich soil, better peat soil with uh, peat soil. Keep the soil moist and don't let it dry. But take care of the uh, of the drainage. It's really important. Better instead of uh, cutting directly. This is uh, uh, like second point five option. Uh, instead of cutting directly, let it root. Uh, after its root, uh, it's still con uh, it's connected to the mother plant. Let it grow a little bit. The moment that uh, you want, cut it. But don't take the root outside uh, unless you put it directly in a pot. Uh, just uh, let it cut the connection between the mother and after this you can transplant it. It will be uh, great. Uh, be aware that uh, in the maybe in high humidity, tropical, maybe it will be uh, invasive. Uh, planting season will be from the spring to the summer in hard in a zone of 10B. Uh, but better uh, not in hot summer days, spring to the autumn in hardiness zone of 11 and all the year in hardiness zone of 12. Major pests are millipugs, white flies or spider mites or it can be all together unfortunately. Uh, major uh, pruning will be just uh, for design, dead leaves mostly. Height of the plant will be from 5 to 15 centimeters so it means 2 to 6 inches. And in the right uh, condition, it will be fast growing plants that require average amount of water to big amount of water. Uh, it grow in full shade. It's, if you put it uh, with sun, it will be burn. Uh, you will see burn marks all the leaves. Uh, if you grow it indoor, you need to take care of the humidity, uh, ventilators and heater in the winter, uh, ventilator in the summer, make it very dry. It's killing the plant. Uh, except this, if you want to grow it by in container, uh, better to choose uh, containers that will be at least 40 to 50 percent bigger than the root ball. Uh, it's grow, grow in the right condition uh, quite fast, so and uh, don't forget to switch the soil every few years. Uh, the moment that it's arrived to uh, the desirable pot, you don't you don't have to switch it to bigger. You just can uh, contain the growth. It's mean like cut some leaves, cut some roots, and put it back. It will regrow. And don't forget uh, to use the uh, peat soil uh, with a little perlite or even without will be better. Depends the uh, uh, peat soil uh, pH. 
uh, potting mix also possible water it regular don't too much uh, uh, also a small amount of fertilizer three to four times a year and put uh, mulch especially in the beginning after this and hummus after this it just uh, let it grow and uh, this is quite of lovely uh, so why not to grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list subscribe and of course purchase a plant and this is donation for our channel i hope you enjoy and come visit us again